What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Locked on Sharks, the premier hockey podcast covering your favorite team in the Bay Area. I should have said charcutas. Mm. <laughs> charcuterie? Charcu- the charcuterie boards. Oh, the shark. You should find a picture of a charcuterie board and then put their little faces all over it. <laughs> and like then put like face. charcuta yeah. over the top. Oh, live. All right. Sharks, blues, recap next. Music. You're Locked On Sharks, your daily podcast on the San Jose Sharks. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I'm your host, Kyle Demetrius. Back with me, as always, is JD, the Gouda to my pickled onions. Those are both charcuterie board options. There you go. Do you eat a lot of charcuterie boards? I feel like you're not a charcuterie board man. Uh, I will. You're from the south. You've moved around a lot. Your dad was in the army. They're not really charcuterie. I will. Adjacent. I'm not. I won't go out of my way to make one, but I will participate yeah, in. If you'll mess that thing made. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you have um, a favorite charcuterie item? Uh, I do like crackers and cheese, like especially like goat cheese or something like that. Um, oh, okay. You don't go in for the brie. Uh, the brie's okay. I think the brie's slightly overrated because it's too Ooh. much. Yeah. Uh, when it's nice and hot, it's melty. You throw some like rosemary on top or some garlic. Yeah. But I like, yeah. Um, I know Steph has gotten um, like the, some like blueberry goat cheese before. Uh, I think I like Trader Joe's. Uh, but yeah, crackers and cheese usually my, uh, my go to. I do like the, uh, the pickled items, like pickled onions, pickled pickles, mm-hmm. well, pickles, uh, a pickle, pickle, pickles. Yeah. pickle. Yeah. The little baby guys, the pickled mm-hmm. onions, stuff like that. I really like. Uh, and then a nice meat, like a yeah. prosciutto. You wrap one of those babies around like a, a pickled onion. Yeah. You throw a little cheese in it. Oh, good. It's have good. a glass of, have a glass of wine. Buddy, when you Pass go to Italy, wine. when yes. you go to Italy and find the fancy Swiss bitches, <laughs> you're going to have lots of wine and charcuterie. I <laughs> promise you. No wine. But that's, but... No, you will. Trust me. You just will drink the wine. It's there. <laughs> you just have to have it. I just, I don't like wine. It's just, uh. you're going to like it, man. <laughs> you just have a rosé chilled. It's nice and cold. It's almost like juice. You're That's just, the problem. You, it tastes like bad grape juice. Like all no, wine it t- just tastes no, like bad no, grape juice to me. No. Anyway, just ask for grape juice. They'll just give you wine. And then you're <laughs> just gonna be like, well, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> anyway, do- yeah. Sharks blue. Speaking of whining, uh, the St. Louis blues. I should, before we get shout out to the blues fans getting into our YouTube comments and complaining. You guys are the real. Really? Players. Oh, yeah. You have some of them? Uh, Just, you know, um, not like up, up, but yeah. Let's get uh, it up. We're going to. So, uh, that's we're gonna said. do this live i guess yeah yeah no i want to see what they said like i can't believe blues people came and listened to a sharks but i don't go and listen to the no offense to the other hosts i don't go and listen to the other team's previews i don't care <laughs> but i mean it wasn't our it was just blues fans you know so well they listened to us were, were they also storming the Capitol and just found their way to locked on sharks <laughs> i guess or the tags thanks the youtube tags so um bah, ha, ha, let's go blues with a bunch of smart uh face you know laughing faces uh, one person, as a trashy St. Bl- uh, Blues fan, I came here to get some interesting insight on the Sharks this year. Everything I know about the Blues fans is that they're always respected by the Sharks for usually having our number in the playoffs. Thank you for your classy representation of St. Louis. Physical teams aren't dirty. They're just physical. I'm sorry uh, for the thousands of thousands of Blues fans. You brought the hand pass. Cheers to hopefully a good competitive game. So that was nice of this person. That was nice, uh, except the Blues are incredibly dirty. They literally injured like five people. Dylan yeah. Gambrell scored a goal in game six. Like <laughs> Dylan Gambrell should have been nowhere near the ice. But anyway, I digress. What's next? Uh, really, the Sharks are a measuring stick for the Blues. Hilarious. You guys are a joke. I know absolutely zero about St. Louis hockey. Your team will be in the cellar by the end of the month or sooner. San Jose, the laughing stock of the entire NHL. And then I responded, excuse the us. Sharks are the laughing stock of excuse the NHL. Excuse us. The Coyotes continue to play hockey in the National Hockey League. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's not what you're here for the sharks blues five three uh blues and i think the biggest thing about this game my biggest takeaway was the this was the first game where you really felt the apps like the 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 cuda kids you know i think the defense was a bit of a mess tonight um you know a lot like just a bit a bit yeah a bit of a mess i was trying just to just be- a bit Trying to be positive. How big is the bit? Well, no, that's not our brand. We're not the other podcast yeah. that just go. 
and it was a nothing mess. is bad. There was a there's we've seen a lot of miscommunication, especially between the Aiden Hill and the defenders, and this has happened no matter who's been back there. So, but just unable to get like clean transit. We talked about it in the preview, like trying to get clean transitions out, and if you don't, what's going to happen? Um, the Blues are going to pounce on this. We saw because a they're lot a transition of, team. That's what yeah, they do. That's what they do. They're very, very good at that. We we saw a lot of this with the, you know, especially like in the neutral zone and stuff where the Blues are just, you know, a lot of two-on-one rushes and stuff like that. Um, and Aiden Hill was, I, that second period was not his, definitely not his best period. I know that. That second uh, side goal, he, would, he came out and said, I wanted that goal back. But I thought he made up for a little bit in the third period. He made a lot of great saves in that third period to keep the Sharks in it. Uh, but I mean, again, he's only 24. I, I saw a lot of, oh my God, Martin Jones 2.0, Martin Jones 2.0. Like, let's, no, no, let's no, no, pump no. the brakes. It's, I, th- I think, I think the difference is, is that it, if they didn't have Reimer, that'd be more concerning. But when we see Reimer go out there and stonewall a team for a whole game, yeah. Uh, and you, then you see Aiden Hill play half a game really good and half a game kind of, kind of sloppy. I, I think there's that dissonance where you want to have Reimer yeah. twice. But you can't. You got to get Hill, and I think there's you, you, yeah, like you, you said, can't just you be the run, growing pains. Yeah, you can't just run Reimer out there for sixty games. You know, no, that's not his that's, role either. That's not his role either. So you know, um, and I think too the the missed opportunity on the power play in the first period. So you know, yeah. They, so they had a they had a power play. Then they or they got two penalties at the same time. or Whatever they ended up having a five on three, and then Barbashev went in the in the in the box, and his he got four minutes for high sticking, and his Couture penalty face, didn't yeah. start after. Yeah, of course it was Couture in the face. What else? Name a better deal. Protect Couture's face. Uh-huh. But when you only score one goal and then give up a shorthanded goal, that's, that's brutal. I'll just say it. That's shit. Yeah, that's brutal. Especially like that was your chance for a team that was coming off a back to back overtime on a road trip where you could have put the hammer down and been up, you know, two nothing or maybe even, you know, three nothing. And then that that blues team is like, well, and it's nice just on our night, whatever. Then you can kind of, you know, go from there. But, you know, for the Blues to come out of that one-to-one out of that position, like, then, you know, that gives them a lot of confidence and stuff like that. And especially, uh, you know, it kind of gives them their legs. So, but yeah. Yeah, and we, we talked about in the preview um, how the Sharks needed to come out and just kill the Blues dead at the beginning. Uh, they're on the road trip. They're on the second yeah. night of a back-to-back. They should have just they that was the point where you can just stomp on them and put them away and go up two or three nothing. Yeah. End of story. I mean the power play even, looked even, good because even got, if you like, go up one nothing and don't give up the shorty, yeah. I guess that's okay. But like I, I this is this is where you can see the CUDA influence where you don't have Eric Carlson running the second power play. I guess you have Ryan Merkley. Um, yeah, but we like Ryan Merkley, but he's not Eric Carlson. You know he's not Eric Carlson, and they they let Brent Burns stay out there for like three straight minutes. Yes. Good Great. for him. Uh, congratulations on all your successes, which he, he's fine on the power play, but it just hurts you in the back end when he's at 27 minutes and you could, he could have been at 24 or 25. Yeah. That's Nick when Merkley, he, and then, and then God bless you right on the power play too. You know, so, but yeah, I really like when you see N Merkley instead of T Meyer or Kayla bank or, or yeah. one of these other guys, like that's where you start to see like, okay, yeah, it's tough, and they don't have John Leonard out there. They have they had Nick Merkley and they had Jonah Gajojevic in the game instead, and and those guys serve their roles, but they're not power play guys. Yeah, and that's where you really see the hindrance of, oh shit, we need some more guys. But on the conversely, William Eklund, baby. Yeah, before we get to William Eklund, though, I don't know about you, Never. but we should always need, get to William Eklund first. I and whenever we're not getting to William Eklund, everybody should ask, when are you getting to William Eklund? <laughs> when do you and, get to the fireworks and, store? <laughs> and, and don't steal our memes, yeah, people. We, we see you. I'm not going to name names. We see you. We see you. We see that you didn't change it, but you use the same meme format if with the same... Anyway. We see, we see you. Just like Kyle, the I think you need to take list. a little break here. You need to kind okay. of take a little snack here. Grab yourself a Bill Bar. I do. Especially because right now, Bill Bar. If you're like, I love Thanksgiving. I like the food. I like watching, sitting down and watching football, you know, and just kind of relaxing for like two days straight. But if you're like me, you got the dad bod. Sometimes that second piece of pumpkin pie isn't the best thing for you. That's where Built Bar is, comes in. It's a perfect time for Built Bar because Built Bar has new holiday desserts. They have feast on something delicious and feel good about it. Like I said, one slice of pie, upwards of 300 calories. Ugh. You hear me place that with a built bar, like a raspberry built bar. 
Um, or they've got the coconut cream built bar. They're low calorie, low carb, low fat, high protein, covered in 100% chocolate. Built bars are a great option for when you're hungry. And if Thanksgiving isn't coming soon enough, go for a built bar or two. And then right now, they also have a bunch of awesome new flavors coming out. So make sure you guys check out built.com regularly because they've got like a bunch of cool holiday surprises. So, and then also Black Friday, mark your calendar. They're going to have a, even more surprises. So they have a huge event. Go to build.com, use their promo code LOCKED15. You get 15% off your order. Again, use their promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off at built.com. Kyle is on mute right now, but I'm going to guess. William Eklund. I, I use the ad reads to text the Aussie girl, uh, uh, and then I forget that I'm on video. <laughs> it's okay. So that's what I'm doing when everybody anybody sees uh, me texting. It's I'm either looking up stats um, or texting a specific stats human, on the Aussie human, girl hu human being. What's her? Uh, uh, no, I will not be expected doing that. goals. <laughs> uh, we will not. We will not be. We will not be doing that. Uh, I respectfully decline. <laughs> Willie Macklin, though. So this was a big game because this was his ninth game. So, Douglas, Doug. please. Doug, we save, we save the franchise for you. Don't, yes. Don't unsave don't, it. Don't unsave don't it. Don't make us. Don't make us come down there. <laughs> I just don't know how you look at this team and go. William Eklund isn't one of the nine best forwards on the team. How do you do yeah. that? You, it, and and here's the thing. Oh, this is this is gonna. I'm just gonna say this, and we're not gonna talk about it. Replacing Eklund with Kane would just be an absolute travesty. Moving on. Yes. If you put Kane. Or whoa, for whoa. if you put Eklund back to Sweden, who replaces him? Yeah, you can't like, move up Gajovic. Nick no. Merkley is not the answer. So if you have if you have uh, Dalene Couture, Meyer, mm -hmm. Eklund, Hurdle, Barabanov, Balsers, Benino, LeBanc. Mm -hmm. Cog, Jasper, fourth liner du jour, Nieto, Gajojevic, Nick Merkley. Whoever you feel like that day. Yep. None of those fourth liners are moving up. You're just in the same spot you were last year where you're just guys are exactly. playing a, a line ahead where they Patrick Marlowe's not work, walking through that door. <laughs> I mean, he could be. I mean, he probably is. 2009, Patrick Marlowe is not walking through the door right now. So, yeah. Like, I just, how do you. I, John Leonard's fine. Like, yeah, John Leonard's not. William Eklund and then like you know uh Noah Gregor is not Eklund like even the guys in the Barracuda like those guys are no John Leonard couldn't even hold off Nick Merkley for a job no offense yeah. I love John Leonard but it, it just... Merkley was good tonight though Nick Merkley Nick Merkley was both Merkley were good so Mer I Ryan was a little yeah honest, but, but the whole you can't you yeah. can't just say he was bad and not point out that the entire I said all defense the other was, kids, was a barge. All the other kids were bad. So, a barge yes. of diapers. Yeah, all the the barge of diapers defense. But it was bad. But no, back to back to Eklund. I I just if there was other guys waiting in the wings, or he was sitting in a spot, say there, there was a guy injured and coming back, mm -hmm. um, or he was they were trying him out, and there was you had an overloaded third line, and there was guys on the fourth line that, that could move up and stuff like that, but they really don't have any fourth liners or guys in the minor system that are going to come up. That's the, the big thing. Yeah, if like Robbins was you know like on the CUDA or Ozzy was Man, on the CUDA, doing this on video sucks. <laughs> yes. um, if one of those guys were on the CUDA, like. And you're like, okay, like let me bring one of those guys in. That's that's a different story because you can replace someone. You could think that you could replace someone. You could add some skill there, but skill you're there. just not. Like I just, yeah. And regardless of there's nobody replace him, he's been one of the best nine forwards. Like he's I just averaging, don't... you know, he's got four points in nine games. That's really good. Like as he, a nineteen, he played how many minutes tonight? Let's let's he played, find out. He was at um, like just like fifteen thirty. He was fourth uh, fourth most with the forwards, so behind Hurdle, uh, Hurdle, Kotor, sure. and then I think Barabanov was was third. Barabanov so. was at fifteen thirty two, and he was he at fifteen three more seconds than William Eklund. Yeah, so like he makes your team better, and if you this team has been surprisingly good, and William Eklund has been one of the reasons why this team has been surprisingly good. Yeah, I, I just, there's no shot. Please. 
Please just don't. don't. Just don't. It's We're, the good, the good vibes, vibes need to keep don't. going. I understand that there's an ELC burn, but who gives a shit? Like we're just we've never had this. Don't. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. To think about it. Yeah. Do you think we're recording this after the game? It's eleven ten Pacific time, November fourth, uh, in the year of our Lord Gary Bettman, twenty twenty one. Do you think? Imagine his name was Jesus Bettman. Anyway, <laughs> do you think that Eklund lines up on Saturday yes. against the Devils? Yes, because it's the point in overturn. I was, we're yes. we're like thirty two hours away from do or die. He's in the lineup, so I think so too. Couture, yeah. Couture, uh, Couture basically ple- like made his case. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, I'm pulling up the quotes here because I closed my Twitter like an absolute donkey. Uh, Logan Couture said, "It's a tough. It's it's a. Oh, I can't read. Restarting. Logan tough Couture said, you, quote, what? Tough night for you. <laughs> but no, it was a great yeah. night for me. Yeah. Uh, quote." It's tough when you're playing in this league at 18 or 19 years old, and he's showing that he can do it. He's shown up and proved he can play in the NHL. And then he said something about he's going to be an elite player in this league. Just let him, let him fly. And again, if you need to occasionally, hey, buddy, it's the back to back, or you know, three games in five days or whatever. He's already benched one. Like he he can play 70. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, if he plays 70 instead of you know, that's fine. But this is. Again, like everyone, like oh, he's gonna get, he needs to get stronger and stuff like that. Hey, guess what? He's going to. Hey, and he, he's not he's gonna get stronger abused. in an NHL program. Yes, he, and he's not getting abused. Is the thing like it'd yeah. be different? He's getting abused. I guess Nikolai Goldobin died uh, for our sins. Yes, <laughs> or Mirko Mueller crawled so that William Eklund could fly. <laughs> 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 what do you think? What do you think? Uh, old Mirko is doing these days. I don't know. Is he still on the? Uh, he's he's playing. He he's playing. Team? He's he's playing in. Uh, he's playing in Europe. I'm pretty sure. Do you think? Yeah. Think I could bet on a Swiss league game? I'm sure you could, but there's only one place I would trust to bet on Swiss league hockey. What is that? Bet online, baby. And why? Because they are the fastest grow, easiest way to bet on all sports. And because they're back and better than ever. They have a new web interface for the start of the hockey and the basketball season, which means that there's more props, more odds, more lines than ever before. Hopefully that includes NLA, which is Swiss League. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all the basketball and football action this season. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use promo code Locked On to receive your bonus. From basketball, football, baseball, playoffs are over, but you can probably bet on the awards still. NHL, boxing, footy, cricket, UFC, your favorite Vegas casino game. I'm a blackjack guy. What are you? Yeah, blackjack. Actually, I like the uh, slots too. I like playing the slots. Ah, just a waste of money. <laughs> I can also play some craps. Throw down some craps. The flashy Whatever lights. you want. The, flashy the flashing lights. lights are good, like, like, a, like a small toddler. Yeah. Yes. Whatever your game of choice is, don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easy way to bet all your favorite sports. Bet online where the game starts. So, yeah. Yeah. That's my kind of feeling. The Sharks had a chance to win that, but they, they had a chance. A better team. They, they had a chance, and the Blues are good. But I think this is good. a good, good, like when the Sharks are healthy, like I, it proved to me that like when Timo and LeBanc and Carlson are back, and like they're going to be able to compete with Middleton. Some of these other <laughs> Middleton. What a world we live in where we're like, you know what? I could use Middleton back. <laughs> I could take Jake Middleton right now. I could do a 20 minutes of Jake Middleton tonight. Oh but God. like when these guys are back and healthy, like they're going to be able to compete with some of these. Yeah. Playoff and I teams. don't think either of us are saying that they're the avalanche or the, or the hurricanes or the Panthers. Or something. We're not saying that, No, but they can hang. Look at, they scrapped with the blues tonight. It was, what was it? It was four, three. It was a one goal game period. until, you know, back and forth yeah. game. It was and, two I mean, two after a little bit back to back shorties. Like it, the sharks were hanging in there, and they just were sloppy with their puck management. The blues hurt them on there. The blues scored a shorty and broke their back on an early extended power play. Aiden Hill led in a softy, and here we are. Yep. And they're they're charcutas. They're they're charcuta yes. boards. And there's just not it's tough. It's it's a tough situation. And they're rolling into the devils on Saturday. Saturday. 
who are they've been it's winnable it's winnable let's let's be honest the devils yeah. aren't the blues yeah so i mean and the yeah the the devils right now are coming off to they've lost uh to the blue jackets they lost to the ducks and then they play friday night against they the, lost to the and, ducks yeah, they lost, lost to the to blue jackets team. yeah they lost oh, this uh, team sucks and yeah there we go they, we got it in <laughs> then they lost then they're playing friday night in LA and then the Sharks are getting them on a back to back. So this back-to-back is a very again. winnable game for the Sharks. So a hundred percent. This is this is a team. If, if you the get Sharks LeBanc or Timo back, then yeah. So this is this is a t- exactly Timo. We need you, buddy. He's got like nine points in seven games or something. Like Eleven that. points. <laughs> oh my god, absurd. He was tied for seventh in scoring the other day. It was awesome. Yeah. But this is the game. If the Sharks really do think that they can make a push for the playoffs. These are the teams you got to beat. You got to beat the bad teams. <laughs> and then win a couple against the teams that you're supposed. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, there's a good one from the game that I went to in the Canucks uh, Flyers game. Yeah. Um, uh, Bianco was like, "No, hockey's easy. You just got to put the puck in the net and more times than the other team." It's like, yeah, really. There we go. Words of wisdom. <laughs> why are we even here, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, we were watching the game, and she was like, "Why don't they just go down and score? It's it's just easy. You got to put the puck in the net." It's yeah. like, yeah. It's an easy game. Do you think we go back to uh, rhyme time on Saturday? Yeah, I think Rhymer. Rhymer. You think it's just going to be an alternating? Beep, 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 beep. I think so too. So yeah, they. Um, yeah, they. They. I think they go back to Rhymer, and then they start a, a pretty uh, chunky road trip here. Another it's like five, five games game or, again, or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, it, it'd be good to in this homestand with a win. Cause yeah, you're going to Calgary, Winnipeg again. God, I'm tired of Winnipeg, Colorado, Minnesota, St. Louis. And then, yeah. So there's St. Louis, you, Colorado, Minnesota, and Calgary are all good. Yes. And Minnesota is good too. Like all those teams That's are what good. I said. Those four, yeah. except for Winnipeg. Screw them. We've already, yeah, we can we, we beat Winnipeg. them twice. And one time they were their charcuterie boards. So yeah, it's a, it's a big road trip here. So they got to make, they got to win. Uh, yeah. Because they're not making any hay on that road trip. I mean, if they come out of that road trip 500 or something like that, the Sharks could be dangerous. But I have a feeling in two weeks' time, three weeks' time, uh, you and I will be talking about maybe some prospects. <laughs> <Might start spending>. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see what's going on. No, no, we said we'd hold off on prospect talk till January. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough sledding coming up here. Um, I, I really, I think my big takeaway here is that I want to see William Ackland staying on the team. I think yes. that's tantamount to the Sharks' success, and I think. I don't think sending him back to Sweden is going to be more beneficial than him playing in the NHL when we've seen that he can hang in the NHL. Yeah. And if he goes down to the AHL, you're just going to be calling him back up in 20 minutes. Don't send anyway, him to the so. AHL. Nobody, nobody cares about yeah. it. Don't go, don't go play. Don't go play the San Diego Gulls. Who there's like four dudes who are like 35 just trying to take each other's heads off. Yeah. All right. Before we get out of here, JD, let's do our three stars that we did. Our do three last fries week. of the week. Yeah. We didn't do last week. Our cause... three fries of the week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, you want to start out? What's your third fry of the week? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this podcast. Jesus, take the podcast. Dude, can you start, please? <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with my uh, third star of the week. I'm going to say Barabanov, who has come to play this last week. So uh, we were a little sour on him uh, coming out of training camp, but he's really established himself as one of the top six uh, forwards and i think once everyone gets fully healthy and we have that eklund hurdle bear ban line that's gonna look pretty nice i'm gonna go jonathan dahlin who got I, robbed to. again tonight yeah he's he's good guys he's good <laughs> yes who's your second star uh i'm gonna go tomas hurdle oh you're was one ahead of me uh. <laughs> my my second star is alex Barabanov because uh. uh notably did not like his chances uh, he's turning out to be pretty good he's got like five points there are four okay. points already this season. Crazy. Uh, Bear Band was good. You went Hurdle. Uh, Hurdle's my number one. Sausage Daddy number oh, one. Oh, nice. So, yeah. He's been a stud, man. Sausage Daddy. But that's why I went with Hurdle number one. He's been a stud. He's been a man amongst boys, and he's just putting the team on his back while everybody else is, has COVID. So, yeah. Um, Our three fries of the week. Get out of McDonald's or whoever. <laughs> McDonald's has the best. Who? What are your top three fast food fries? McDonald's is one with a bullet. <laughs> No, you can't, you can't beat those babies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mc, five guys. Ooh, five guys is good. Five guys is really good. And uh, I don't know. I, I really don't eat fries at other places. I just go to McDonald's or, yeah. or five guys. 
We'll go. Actually, you know, I'm gonna go Sonic Tots for the <laughs> for the. I yeah. just learned. Yes. That there's a Carl's Jr. in Vancouver. Oh, nice. I'm gonna have to check it out. The last time I ate Carl's Jr. was after the uh, Sharks Kings outdoor game, and I was blind. Uh, <laughs> don't know what's going on i remember getting uh like an extra large because i was like i need an extra large drink yeah um which is like six liter i don't know what's what's the largest there a gallon it's yeah you have a five gallon bucket (laughs) whatever however many freedom freedom units it is it's a Uh, lot and i was carrying this doctor and i got dr pepper of all things which is awesome choice by me at like one in the morning Uh, and i was just carrying around this icy i put so much ice in this icy massive dr pepper that i remember it like weighing down my hand i was like there's so much though i drink it faster i had to pee like six times on the like, 20 yeah. minute walk home it was so bad uh western bacon cheeseburger is the way to go so there you western? go western okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go tomorrow maybe western right. bacon cheeseburger that's i'll i'll text you carl's jr let us know if you have carl's jr thoughts which is also hardy's in the east yes east uh let us know at locked on sharks uh please do we like this shit <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, if that's where you want to get your news and want to let us know, please let us know on there. Uh, JD puts up all our work so you can get at us there, Locked on Sharks. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube because you're a big fan of Insurrection and or Hockey. And ASMR. Oh, yeah. and We're, <laughs> we're doing the ASMR people now. And the pickles. Um, subscribe to Locked on Sharks on YouTube. Uh, please do. We're getting we're getting closer to 350. We're getting closer to 400. We're over 350 now. Oh, we're getting closer to 400. We're on our way. Yes. JD's doing magic fingers for those people. Uh, ASMR. Uh, email. If you like energy. If you, <laughs> if you, God, if you would like to email us, uh, please don't, but if you really need to lock on sharks at gmail.com, if you haven't, thank you for your service. JD, uh, has been on fire with the meme image. Excellent meme image. If you watch succession, that, that meme joke, it's JD right now. Uh, my fry hole is where he can be found. If you want to ask Kyle about double rainbows, you can find him at Kyle Dimitri. I saw my first one today. It was great. Yeah. Then I had sex. It was awesome. What, a, what an awesome <laughs> Under <day>. the rainbow. <laughs> kind of. It was going over the whole city. Yeah. Yes. Was, under both rainbows. Get it right. All right. Do you uh, got thank, anything or are we getting out of here? <laughs> thank you for making us your first listen. Uh, go check out one of the other amazing shows. Uh, Fancy Hockey. Whichever. I guess you can go listen to Locked on Devils. You can learn about the Devils. I don't know. Or not. We don't care. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, friends.